Technology Guys got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at some of the alternatives to uh, Windows Media Player. Now, Windows Media Player has been around for a very long time, and uh, it looks like it's uh, pretty much doomed. I think in the next up and coming updates, that Microsoft may be thinking about ditching uh, Windows Media Player and trying to force you to use their Groove uh, Music. Uh, app which is not a really I'm not really a big fan of it now we did have a little topic going on on the forum here about that and there was a post posted up here by f23948 he basically posted up here a link uh, to a site which says they are ditching uh, the Windows Media Player now also if you look at the latest version of the build which they are going to be releasing uh, that is uh, the case they are actually no there's no windows media player in there which is a bit of a shame so maybe they are ditching that and i think something about picture it i read somewhere or something like that they're getting rid of and try to make you use the newer tools uh on windows 10 but these could be rumors or you know i haven't found a post yet from microsoft to say that that is going to happen so i have listed out some alternatives here and uh, some of these alternatives are your usual uh, which is like iTunes. Now, a lot of people do use iTunes. Uh, in fact, it says here over 45 million people use it. It's a very good way of organizing all your music. It gets all of uh, album art and stuff like that and fan art downloaded, which is also a nice for touch as well. It lists all the genre in, in the right places and stuff like you can favorite certain songs. I do like the way you can organize it. It's a very powerful piece of kit now if you do like organization and you like to have everything in certain sections then itunes is great for that it does work on mac and also uh, windows as well and it's uh, free to download it's ad free you don't have any ads on here as well and it's updated on a regular basis which is really really important if you want to stay safe uh, with updated software now the moment these don't update software i'll let you know with some of these ones which have discontinued updates and they've sort of not been updating it and there's a reason why I want to talk about that a little bit later now if you don't want to use iTunes because you're not a, a, a Mac fan or an Apple fan or any of that sort of stuff then Media Monkey is another option you can use now Media Monkey has the same functionality as iTunes it has a lot of custom ability good organization with all your stuff uh, which you can do and again it plays all your files you can share these via deal, uh, DLNA which is also a nice uh, touch you've got loads of uh, options here as well there is um which is called freemium uh, this is freemium software as well and uh, you can read up all about that about this piece of software you can manage uh, you know all your software uh, all your music files and stuff like that audio books podcasts uh, you know videos and stuff keep them all organized tv movie shows it's good for that sort of stuff and share them across all your devices in your home so this is a really good uh, piece of software if you're into all good organization and you like to play uh, music and stuff across the, the network and stuff like that uh, very very useful now global pop player i've not heard much about this and i've not used it very much I did give it a little quick test. It's very lightweight. It doesn't use a lot of system resources, but I can't seem to find too much information about it. But I wanted to put that link up there just for you guys, just so you can see and make your own uh, decisions on it. They do have a forum here, which you can go and check out and read up uh, some of the latest updates if they're doing updates and stuff like that. Uh, and I will leave all the links in the video description. Now, SM Player is another free option, uh, which is very lightweight. Also, uh, supports a Chromecast which is another good option uh, it does come with built-in codecs in there now this is open source software which is based off of mplayer the award-winning mplayer uh, software now if you remember mplayer that's it there and I'll put the link in there it gives you all the information uh, there as well so that is basically mplayer if you remember that but it's based off of that and uh, again it's uh, rated up there as one of the best players out there uh, to use it does get updated uh, a bit so that's also good news there uh, there's a donate button here again these sort of uh, so software do require people to keep donating to them to keep the support going because eventually what happens is it becomes a lot of hard work and they get very 
a little reward back and of course then sort of people stop coding and stop keeping it updated stop adding new features and stuff like that and eventually it just dies a death and that's it so that is the uh, SM player again good old uh, VLC I always seem to install VLC on all my systems and uh, I don't know why I just think it's a really good uh, media player it plays very good videos uh, movies I play all my TV shows you can stream them across uh, the network and stuff like that very easy to do and uh, I do like it there's a big problem though it's not that great with music it does play all the music there's no problems in sound quality and things like that the problem I've got with it is there's no organization of your music you can't have a menu system on there where you can organize stuff and things like that I don't like that sort of uh, feature of it is no nothing on there like that as well so that's the one of the uh, downfalls but it has been upgraded quite a lot and it does get updates which is also a very positive thing uh, to say about VLC and any person that has a computer should have VLC uh, installed on their system uh, because I'm pretty sure you will find it useful it's got loads of functionality uh, to it now moving on to uh, home uh, this uh, home page here for MPC dash HC now sadly this is a really good player this was a really good player but sadly uh, they've ceased uh, development they've not they've stopped doing any sort of development on this now you can see here discontinued announced on this page here you can go to here and it tells you uh, this is their release and it says farewell they're not making any more which is very sad really and I think this is the trouble with today's world they seem to everyone seems to want stuff for free they want you to uh, you know knock your pipe out for uh, for nothing and uh, no one wants to donate no one wants to help you and when you disappear everyone gets you know upset and think oh why did they disappear well maybe because people haven't been donating or helping supporting uh, their needs you know because at the end of the day uh, it's very difficult to keep a project going running all the server costs to host it and sharing the files and keeping the update and stuff like that you can see this that was 11 year old project gone down the swanee um probably for lack of support and stuff like that which is very very sad and that happens to a lot of good little programs uh, that you see that don't get the support so that was the mpc hc and i'm going to move on to winamp now this as if you haven't know what winamp is Winamp has been out for a long time. They used to market it on CDs, used to get bundled with CDs on Computer Shopper and things like that. And of course they've become big and everyone used to use them. There was very good sound quality from the audio on their software. But sadly, they haven't released um, an update. And it's, they have always say that it's more coming soon, but they never seem to release any updates. And it's been quite a long time since they've released an update, and you can see here. So I've got this down as discontinued project. Uh, you can go to their website and look here and read up. And the last posts they've had on here, which was in 2016, I think it was. Let's have a look here. Uh, yeah, October 2016 was the last one here. I don't think they've got any updates since then so there's there's not much happening uh, with Winamp I'm afraid at the moment and the sound quality is still great but let me just cover why I think out of date software is so uh, dangerous to have on your system if it's not being updated and it's not being patched then that means uh, there's there could be vulnerabilities in there there could be uh, security holes bugs in there which people could exploit exploit and get onto your system and do some damage or whatever it may be so using out of date stuff uh, is not a good thing and uh, if they've ceased uh, updating their software which is uh, always a sad thing to happen but the trouble is if you are going to continue to use that you may be fine you may have no problems whatsoever but if they do find a fatal flaw in that uh, code because it hasn't been updated in two years three years four years five years and windows is continually getting updated it does get left behind a little bit and the security of it becomes a bit more of a vulnerability issue and i wouldn't want to use that uh, to be honest with you now one of my favorite ones right now at the moment is foobar 2000 and uh, this is going to be right up there this is probably a really good replacement for windows media player it is getting updated and uh, you can see here as all your usual features latest news was 2018 uh, the third which was uh, 
recently, 21st. So that was a few days ago they made this uh, latest uh, update. It's in beta, as you can see here. So they are still making uh, releases for this, which is always nice. They've got a support page here, and uh, you can see here they've got some screenshots here. I'm not going to go through and try to play sound samples because I'll get copyright striked. So you can do that yourself and let me know in the comment section what you use or what you think is the best. And uh, you can see here we've got equalizer here. We've got all your usual stuff that you would want uh, from a media player. And this is not just good for video. It's also good for audio uh, as well. Uh, so it's a really good sort of uh, all rounder. And uh, they've been doing some awesome work with this uh, piece of software. Uh, so here you go. I'm going to leave the links in the video description for you. And uh, there you go. So you can see here it's also smart screen warning. You may want to read this. If you're running Windows 10, you'll see um, this will pop up here. You, a smart screen will try and block it. Uh, Virus Total, you can uh, upload it to Virus Total if you want and check it out. Uh, there's a forum thread on there as well, which you can read about. People panic when they see uh, software like this coming up. Um, you know, this will sometimes be yellow here. Uh, it's just not. Uh, signed you know digitally signed but you can see here the forum post is on there which is active you can read up and all that sort of good stuff if you don't want to use it then fine that's okay you know don't use it but personally it's safe to use it's a good piece of software and they're the ones that i'm gonna leave you with you uh they're pretty much they're the selection that i've chose there for the replacement for uh, windows media player so anyway I think I'm going to wrap this one up. These are good alternatives uh, for Windows Media Player, in my personal opinion. Take your choice, install them, have a play of them, see, let me know what you think. Let me know what your choices are in the comment section below, and uh, I'll take a look at them. And uh, have a great week, stuff, guys, and I shall see you again real soon for another video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.